hey guys welcome back to our channel this week we're going to be doing a request from one of our subscribers we are making curry butter bean and salt fish it off we're gonna start with just getting our seasonings together our natural seasoning onions escalion tomatoes and I did dice a bit of garlic in there as well while I had the saltfish boiling I tend to boil my saltfish twice because I prefer to control my saltiness in my pot so I don't want it to have too much saltiness in the saltfish so I boil it twice and then I will pull it apart with this actual um dish i tend to do boiled dumplings and boiled potatoes because that's what we prefer with um this meal so we go ahead and i made i needed the flour and you can see how i did that in our fried dumpling video the only difference is with this one i use all-purpose flour without the baking powder so it doesn't swell in the pot so this is just all-purpose flour i'm making my dumplings rolling kneading and making them in those perfect circles because i like pretty dumplings okay so we're having we, we actually had the pot boiling so we're adding the dumplings now while just waiting because it's a, it is a quick meal so i tend to put my boiled food on first and then i just do my salt fish and butter beans so i'm as, I, as you can see i'm peeling the potatoes here um i peel wash and then slice down the middle add to the pot so that we can have everything boiled together I try to take off every little spot or speckle <laughs> so you can see my hands are wet here because I just washed them off to add them to the boiling water which has the dumplings in there already so now that we have the dumplings and the potatoes boiling we can go ahead and start the sawfish and butter bean so I had my pot heated for a little bit it is the princess house pot so with these pots it actually heats equally at the bottom so there is no really need for heating but I think it's just out, of, just out of habit I heat my pot first and my oil and you can hear the sizzle with this um, sauteing of the vegetables all right so you can see all my vegetables are sauteing nicely that nice sizzle is something that I really like All right, so we're just sauteing the vegetables. The next thing that we're going to add to the pot is the saltfish. Now, you saw how it was when we boiled it. In this um, frame, you're seeing that it is pulled apart. In Jamaican dialect, aka patwa, we say we'll pick up the saltfish. So this is what we did to get the saltfish looking like that. Just pull it apart with your hands. Um, make sure your hands are clean. But put a, pull it apart with your hands and then you're good to go. So, alright, so I'm adding my curry. Now, I prefer to use better pack. Ignore the jar, y'all. You know that we, as Caribbean people, we recycle our jars. So this is actually a coffee jar that we added some curry powder to. Um, so we are going to just add a few dashes of curry powder just to get the that curry flavor in the pot right so as you can see everything is coated nicely with the curry we're still burning the curry because we're not adding anything just yet and we'll have this just cooking for the next three minutes or so right after three minutes we get the butter beans added so the trick is to get the stew like gravy you don't drain your butter beans 
So you add the butter beans with the water that's in the can. You just add everything to the pot. I used to cans of butter beans because we love butter beans. So we go ahead and we just get everything mixed together. Still on a high heat. Just mixing it around. I will have the I'll do this and then just cover the pot and have it cook. So between the curry flavor, the additional seasonings that I use, which is like just all purpose seasoning, a little misses dash here and there. Um, I would put a little bit of black pepper also. At this point, I'll also taste what it is that I'm cooking. So I'll taste that curry stew looking gravy looking thing in the pot um to see if i need any salt because of the salted fish sometimes you don't depending on how salty your fish is you may not need it however because i boiled my salt fish twice i would sometimes add a little bit of um seasoned salt okay so just cover the pot and have it just cook I leave mine on a medium to high heat so that I can get a bubble going. Now the bubbling of the pot will um, have the stew thicken, right? And that's what we want because we want it to have that thickness in terms of the sauce of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just have it bubbling. Um, check on your boiled food, your dumpling and your potato just to make sure they're not sticking to the pot. In this frame, you can see that the stew is coming together nicely. You can also see that a few of the butter beans have burst open. Now, that is what I like. I like having my butter beans burst because it means that they're tender. And I like having it just kind of melt in my mouth. Um, so, that's basically it. Meal is prepared. Two dumplings, Irish potato, and your, saltfish, your curry saltfish and butter bean. And you're good to go. Quick meal, take about 30 minutes. Um, thank you for watching.